nestled in the hills of Northumberland, lies the enigmatic Codger Fort, a tranquil landmark by day that takes on a more mysterious aura by night. Built in the 18th century by a renowned baronet and designed by a visionary architect, this 18th century folly is overshadowed by sombre tales from its past. Rumours hint at tragic events during its construction and later accounts speak of strange lights and ghostly apparitions. Nearby Elsdon further deepens the region's mystery with age-old tales and peculiar discoveries like the mysterious horse skulls found in the church tower. Over the years, these stories have intertwined, making Codger Fort and its surroundings a magnet for those drawn to the unknown. In the rolling hills of Northumberland, just 12 kilometers west of the town of Morpeth, sits the ancient structure known as Codger Fort, by day, its surroundings are tranquil, with only the whisper of the wind in the trees and the melodies of birds breaking the silence. But as night falls, the area takes on a more ethereal ambiance. Perched high on the B6342, the silhouette of Codger Fort transforms into a beacon of whispered legends and tales. Sir Walter Calverley Blackett, a respected baronet, politician and philanthropist was the force behind the fort's construction. In 1769, he employed the visionary architect Thomas Wright to erect the Grand Folly. With its intricately designed triangular bastion, square plan projections and towering turrets, Codger Fort was undeniably a fine eye-catcher. Yet its majesty was marred by tragic tales that clouded its origin. Rumours dark and unsettling, spoke of the folly being a memorial to a servant cruelly flogged to death by Sir Walter himself, not long after the death of Sir Walter's wife in 1759. But many dismissed this macabre tale, finding it hard to reconcile with the benevolent nature of Sir Walter, who was known for his kind heart and charitable endeavours. The more accepted, albeit still tragic story, revolved around Edward Hodgson, a labourer on the site. It was said that one fateful day, as he was working, Edward was tragically crushed beneath the wheels of a cart carrying stones for the fort's construction. His untimely death left a sombre mark on the area's memory, and some even whispered that his restless spirit lingered around the fort, seeking solace. As years went by, the legends surrounding Codger Fort multiplied. By the 19th century, reports of strange lights emanating from its hill after dark became common. Those who lived nearby exchanged tales of these luminous orbs, and most began to avoid the fort's vicinity once the sun set. The 1960s brought renewed interest in the fort's mysteries. An article in a local paper recounted a driver's chilling experience near the fort describing a near-fatal swerve when his steering wheel seemingly took on a life of its own. This incident seemed to echo past tales, igniting further speculation about the fort's mysteries. In 1984, a photograph taken by a tourist named David Smith provided tantalizing evidence of the fort's otherworldly nature. Smith described encountering a luminous orb during his visit, capturing its ethereal glow on film. As quickly as it had appeared, the orb vanished, but not before leaving behind an icy chill and a gust of wind. The nearby village of Elsdon added another layer to the region's mysteries. Tales of the brown man of the moors, a red-haired dwarf with an unsettling visage, have persisted in local folklore. Additionally, the discovery of three mysterious horse skulls in the tower of Elston Church during its late 19th century restoration only deepened the area's mystery. Whether the tales of Codger, Fort and Elsdon were interconnected or separate threads in Northumberland's tapestry of myths remains a matter of debate. 
yet the mysteries of Kodja Fort, with its storied past and the aura of the unexplained, continues to draw travellers, each hoping to uncover a piece of its enigmatic puzzle. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, in the world of deceptive realities, not everything is as it seems.